Merbon il awkom all-aħar episodju tal-ewwel staġun tal-podcast tagħna hija 20 episodju għasaħna m'għandna idea kif għaddew għażilna li l-istaġun nalquh bl-unika tema li l-Malti jista' jsib bil dwara ċewwel li nila ġus huwa tifel talla għal daqs tant tħaddidna manil fuq l-element fiżiku tal-lawma, l-element mentali, l-alluġinazzjonijiet, il-preparazzjonijiet spirituali u l-relazzjoni pjuttost partikolari li nila għandu ma ċertu idea tuħwejeġ ezoteriċi fuq kollox nilu għa tifet najt tifel relax mħu ċasta ċtifel ma bniedem relax li diffiċ li jisib diffikulta titħaddet mijaw Qabel ma nibdew nixtieq nirringrazzja lill-patruni splendidi tagħna ta' dan il-proġett patreon.com forward slash John Malija jekk tixtieq tingħaqad ma din il-familja u tgħin tiżgura li l-proġetti varji li qegħdin nagħmlu ikomplu jkunu attivi mhux tal-li attivi biss iżda jiġġeddu ħajr lill-main sponsors ta' dan l-episodju li huma Likebs, Derek Meats u l-Garmin inħeġġitkom taqbdu minnu fih u tniżlu l-app ta' Likebs anke għax l-għażla wiesa ta' vetturi li għandhom fuq l-elenku ta' ħom li jkeb se jizguraw li jinti se sib il-soluzzjoni ta' transport għalik aktar minnek nerġan il-sotto linja kif dejjem sħaqt li jkeb zjib għaw l-irħas fissu u jaslu fejk flin għas ħin possibli fitxu u nizlu di klep u tistaw għan katik kontrastaw ma pjattaformi u għalajn biex taraw kem dak li jiet najt jiena u għaf il-fat veraċi 9986-6425 biex ta' Derek Meats jaslu fejk f-temp ta' 48 sija jow in għas biex jiet għal laħam tijak personalmen dan laħar sko prejt il-bergers fatti in kaza ta' Derek li meta niġu għal-bergers dit kaw di fil-kum di ta' Derek u ma faċilment fos laktar delizjuzi li għaddot jek mux laktar delizjuzi na salut 9986-6425 ħajr il-garmin li mux bisa tjatu għapoċ il-dan il-podcast izda u kol fil-passat ġili taw xiajnu una lil-mistieden taħan għallum jekk inti sportif jo jekk għadek et tibda fl-atletiċizmu u ma taħx mfez taħba tibda l-smartwatch venue tu u għa laz la għalik għanka xiħatik workouts għapost għalik ikun għwida biex telħa għanijiet fiziċi tijak u tistaw kol t'abdu ma' l-mobile biex tirċi fil-messaġi tismu għal-muzika u għanka saħan si t-rapparenta men t-ħallas il-konti tijak li muwix l-sport favorit tijak jekol li nammetti pero garmin miġjub li jilek dejjem min għan t-il-medcoms għabli l-aktar kamra fiddar li taħla ġofija ija il-ċina u bek taħmlu sew li zuru l-form fejsibu kċejjen li ju ma maħdu ma b-materijal li jiflaħ sew għal-istrapat izda bajn mir-u ma sew għal-estetika l-izbuħija għal da stant għant il-form se sibu min jatikom da għatit kif suppost biex intom taħmlu laqwa għazla għalikom zuru l-form ġo għal-verod l-imsida għal-ċen zbiħ li seħib għaw maħkom fit-tool. ħajl il-valetta glas li jilo mana sa mil-bidu ta dan il-proġett. Grazzu, grazzi lejn izverament ġentili u li nħu gost ħafna na mele negozju maħħom jekk għedin fitxu bċeġ dekorativi tal-ħġġiġ għallu fitxi restoranti lukandi kifu kol għaddjar taħkom kifu kol bċeġ infasla skont l-eziġenzi taħkom zgur li l-valetta glas u ma l-għazla għalik jekk se tixru min fuq il-website tinsewx tnizlu l-promo code in tomu herġin li jadġon ma l-lija biex gawdu min skont taħ mistaċ fil-mija dikkinet l-introduzzjoni tal-aħħar episodju ta' dan l-istaġun man diċ aktar xinzit għal-issa naddu min nufiħ għal-poddata tijaj ma n-jila ġus Malat lana. Implicita mente ta metti li sex appeal ti ajete bi khodal program. All right, rolling. Shana bro, kifa hana. So nice to see you ilu manara khafna. It's been a while, it's true. It's been right. Like, where did I see you last? Baluta. 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 Chips. And I spoke at the Falcon at your dream. Yes, exactly. You were telling me. We had a cafe, relaxed. We had a catch-up. We had a day, relaxed. Day. Are you always this fucking steady? Always. Not steady, relaxed too. Not steady, relaxed? In what ways are you not steady? Probably steady too, but it's more relaxed too. Always relaxed. There's no need to stress out. 
I'll show you. Ever? Ever. All right, we'll get into that. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, I'm part of my full, when I have to say, we, especially, you just broke a world record. I've never been in the presence of someone that broke a world record. Me neither. <laughs> uh, so, you don't have a relationship with yourself, or is this some kind of, like, abstract concept that we're getting into, or? No, no, no. No. So, the first time you hung out with someone that was a world record holder was... Meta was Altish Lendi. Exact. All right. I That's the first now. time I properly met someone. That broke a world record. Exact. All right. This is, uh, it's going to be a fun one. Um, so can, can you just explain what world record you broke? So the category that I was swimming in is the unassisted current neutral ocean swim. So that means that unassisted is I cannot touch the boat at any point. I cannot go up on the boat and sleep or rest. I cannot have any current assisting me, so there are certain areas in the in the sea where there's a constant flow of current that will be helping you. So this has to be completely neutral. Okay. No help from anywhere or anything or anyone. But didn't you have like a current to go on drink? Exactly. Like this, that was the information I was receiving. Yes, and it was a bit because of the heat wave that we had um, for such a long time. It was really giving um, misreadings the the forecast. So. I did know that I was going to swim against the current for the first few hours, but the first few hours turned into the first 24 hours at, at least. Jesus. And uh, when you say the current, according to Concontrique, um, that translates into, like, what, do you have any idea what the force is that you're kind of swimming against? Yeah, so the the person who basically gives me all the instructions and helps me, David, Anastasi and Gordon, basically came to the conclusion that I was, for every three strokes, two I was remaining in the same place and one I was moving. Oh, shit. That's disgusting. Yeah, it was it was intense. At, at, at a point, I really remember looking up at Kurt Arrigo, who was on the boat, taking photos, and he has a lot of experience from open water, and I kind of looked him in the eye and told him, like, do you know how long this is going to carry on for? And... He kind of basically told me with his eyes, like, at Fadal, bro. Yeah, so I just kind of put my goggles on and... I don't know if you're going to be able to get the launch, but you're going to be able to get the launch. That's not. So I said, like, Fadal, bro. Like, how does that feel? I knew what I was getting myself into at the end of the day. I didn't know that I was going to have the current against me, but... I had my team by my side supporting me, giving me the power, giving me the energy to keep moving through each feed every time. And each feed is 28 and a half minutes swimming, one and a half minute break. And in that one and a half minute, I have to drink my electrolytes, um, a smoothie or pasta as well. And also a slow pasta, releasing. Pasta, ajin? Well, ajin. Okay. Ajin or Bilmoch, tipo, I had a bowl, <laughs> Bilmoch, Lil Madi Hel Jofir, in Batal, Onir Kol. You're eating to eat, there's not any excitement in it all. In Batal, the mouthwash, where I called the Nicole Shahajer, in the Khan, mouthwash, Jahal E. What up, Zalbar, Habal Sini for the salt exposure. Aha, wow. Okay. Bishop, you knew what you were getting into. Fine. Uh, but Mike, Mike Tyson has this quote, like, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> and and and, uh, and I think, uh, like, Kurt Arrigo going, is a bit like a punch in the face. Uh, yes, but it's... Does your heart not sink even for a bit and go, fuck it, I'm going to grin, grin and bear it? It does sink, but I need to make sure that I keep myself positive. If I don't keep myself positive and I don't keep myself with... Uh, high energy and a very good flow with the, with my demeanor on how I'm acting, then the team will follow suit of what I'm doing and everything will collapse. I really get that look. Everyone's smiling here. It's because my... Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, talk about us. Yeah, yeah. So I guess what, I, what I'm uh, trying to get at is um, the... Are you just... In immediately positive, yo a moment fatait is up, imma mshahaja igbar fiklitait is up, imma, fuck that, here we go. So basically, no, there are moments where I won't be happy, and then obviously I have the team there, I have Lara especially who does a lot of the mindset work with me, we, we do this together, and she will play certain songs and certain 
prayers, very profound prayers from the South American traditions. And this is what I meditate to. So once she plays this song and once she plays this prayer, um, it reminds me of my meditation and slowly, mm -hmm. slowly brings me to the light. It's not automatically play or at this moment, right? Pomba, Atlanta, but it does help. And slowly, slowly, I get myself out of that dark hole because it, you have to realize it pulls that. pulls you out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it's very difficult to get out of because don't forget, you have one minute and a half where you speak to the team and then you have 28 and a half minutes to attack the deck. Um, what's happening and what's not happening. In the beginning of the swim, my first night, which really I started at 6 p.m., my first night was was tough. I, I was feeling very dark energies in the sea. I was feeling, like, scared. So, you know, I'm not scared in the sea. And I was not comfortable, and then I started getting bitten by a jellyfish, and then by another, and then by another, and really feeling like there's going to be a shark that's going to come up and eat me. Do you do you had that thought? Yes, yes, yes. For a while. Um, How long is a while? A few hours. I, it's a bit difficult to to have that concept of what time and how long it was. But how, how does a thought like that Laura affect your swim? I noticed straight away. She's like looking at me. She's like, "Are you scared?" I'm like, "A little bit." But the kids that are fat, they tell me you're scared. But it's something that was new. I don't usually feel that that feeling in the sea, and. As well, I don't really think about sharks and I don't think about these things because there's so many things happening to your body that are more intense than the shark coming that you kind of don't think about it. Mm -mm -mm. It's not even possible because your mind is so occupied probably by... Exactly. Like, like for fatigue, example, pain, what is it? It would be, for example, if your, my elbow is bothering me and then all of a sudden the salt exposure of the tongue starts to get more intense. My elbow, and you're thinking about your tongue and it just shows you how strong and how powerful your mind is to all of a sudden here your elbow is hurting you and then all of a sudden it's no, a long, no longer an issue and you're thinking about something else. And yeah. it's not that the pain went away, it's just your mind switched its focus. So... The, it, it, And did, you said you do mindset work, yeah, ma, yeah. Malara. Is, is this part of the mindset work that you yeah, engage exactly. in? Yeah, exactly. So then if you think of if that can happen, then I can control my mind for many other things. Pain is just a thought. Is it really hurting me or am I pretending or imagining that it's hurting me? Okay. And what's the conclusion? <laughs> it's just a thought. It's just a thought. Do you think that the capacity is to make the same You change your focus. You think about something else completely and then it, it will go away. It will just give up. Yeah. So, for example, if you are lost in the woods and you fell and broke your leg and all of a sudden you come across a bear, all of a sudden the pain in your leg is no longer going to be an issue because there's a bear in front of you. Yeah. The probability of you feeling your leg hurting you at that moment is very, very slim because your mind is dealing with and thinking about something completely different. Yeah. So, when you especially... I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. When you interact with me, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I can trigger it as well. Exactly. Yeah, I, can, I can I can find what the wiring is and just you know put one wire instead of the other and now uh, Nila juice is, is fine dandy. But obviously uh, you're doing that in the context of swimming for 52 hours. So yeah. I, I understand that it's probably not because there's a mechanical process that's going. There's a fatigue element that's going, and there is also this mindset stuff that's going all in one all in one go. You no. Know? Yeah. So back back to the just the, the, the world record thing. Are there um, any other world records that, that kind of like interest you or mm. or like that are similar to what to what uh, to what you did? Yeah, there are lots of different categories. There are some with wetsuit, some that are multi day, so you are allowed At to yeah, go. Blah, wetsuit to call as a yeah, as yeah. That, yeah. Uh, which makes the jellyfish even more of a bitch, no? Yeah, but again, that is something that used to bother me, and now I turn that pain into power. You should give them to them? Yeah. How do you give them? Okay. Masterclass in mindfulness. Yeah, it's basically you... It's up to you what you how you feel and what you're going to do with the outcome of getting bitten by a jellyfish. 
So I'm either going to be moaning like a bitch about it and going, ah, oh, jellyfish bite or, hey, yeah, bomba, hey, yeah, hamorro, give me another one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't happen all the time, let's be honest. If it's in the middle of the night and I'm starting to get bitten and some really, really do hurt, but you need to try and control the outcome of getting bitten by the... Are there jellyfish that hurt more than others? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and yeah, actually, yeah, we were just talking about the box jellyfish that kills you and all that shit, so obviously there is a gradation of pain. What type of jellyfish do you have in the Mediterranean? I'm not too knowledge, Tom. No? I just know that some hurt more than the others. I don't need to know how many kill you. I don't really need to stay going into that kind of... You don't even want to explore that idea. It's just no. like, ah, that can't, that can't yeah, jellyfish, yes. asshole jellyfish. I don't know how many jellyfish, I don't check. So, all right, it's very MM world records. Variet, Naidu, Numbat Forsi, Tidal National Day Captain Tamil, Emma. Emma, allora, in a certain aspect, especially... Lowest fee that yeah, means Alia Al Malta. Um, I didn't come on the boat because I'm fucking in a full Bahar terribly. My ways a combination I came full Bahar, came full Bahar. Come on, come. El ways I came at the water. She sat at the load. Oh, da la mejnun da fucking magna. Oh, da. Um, oh, oh, the experience I came at wada wada vera sabi hal ways a Alia came at came at the very. Tant kont spiċajt nor qotlu fitxu biċin l-esti, eħi dġifiri, il-dokumentari kon vera impressjonat, kien mument vera importanti li Malta u reġa sar, mument vera importanti li Malta kollex għat bħal nila ġus li spiċta u għax għan pjuta da kollu li mux medjokri. Pero, kif te kontrasta li sfida ta s-għallija ma this last one and so on, ma min... Linoza 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 Kul għama għat kun kompletament differenti Gjifiri One was 100 kilometers One was point to point 125.7 But I swam around 145 In total Because of the The way the current was I had to kind of Swim like a banana shape And then a banana shape The other way Because the current was so bad That swimming directly to from point to point i was swimming directly into the current and it was impossible i was barely moving so we took a loop around to try and avoid the current being directly into allora mate ti li ho mate mi ho hamso shin kilometri o mi ho hamso erbin mi ho hamso shin mi ho hamso shin min kaya li fil verda o mate iktar ya bil regoli ekt konta regoli tanni u kif ti kompara biex ta di ovviament kienem iktar volum ma forse kont iktar preparat le definitament kont iktar preparat al di ovviament training sen iktar esperienza anki fi nahat al mindset kont kont nafxan di bżon taf kif allura iktar taħdem fuq dawk l-affarjiet tinduna ġġara għazin fi l-lamma tas għalli jambat tibda tajt orajt me la ek ġarek me la jina għan prova naħdem per esempio tal-bram dik ġiet wara tipo u tibda tajt me la kif għan biddila dik jenit tuħt situazzjoni diffiċi li ħafna x nista naħmel biex nġiba situazzjoni sabi għalija u kif kif ima bħal xaġ tal-bram kif ti treni għas biex laqbad bħal mil għal għan jitu xaħta għal jinti kif 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 basically it's There isn't really a way. It's just kind of, I've gotten bitten so many times. How many? 100, 200, 300 times I've gotten bitten by a jellyfish. It's, I, sometimes I go on training swims and the bay is full and I need to do my session. So I have to push through it. Sometimes 12 bites in one training session. Do you consciament that the bay is the brand of the bay is Tom? Fuck it, I call it Tom. Fuck it, I call it Tom. It's good. I want to touch the left session. It's it's super important that your training schedule is kept to point. And if dar batay tabal riyah, dar batay tabal shita, tabal bram, to speak a to left half na session. So if you are so no matter what. Certain are diligent in my training. I should even if take a skinny smooth act man has a bar. I have it on. Richard. Richard, come on, tell Richard. Richard, can you add a little bit of bidu flow well out, ma? Tau de. Full sena in sirik tar dedicat o ektar. Capable of doing all the all the program because now I know it's, there's a it's it makes a big difference it's a big big 
big challenge and it's, it's now become dangerous. If I do not train properly, then I'm putting myself in more danger than I already am because being in the sea for that many hours is me putting my, myself at risk. What, what kind of risks is that? Uh, anything. I could die easily. I could um, start hallucinating, panic, get a panic attack. I could get eaten by a shark. I could get bitten by a jellyfish in my, on my mouth and my tongue and we're in the middle of the sea. And so a lot of things can happen. We're in between two countries. So if it, the furthest point from each other, so if we're bang in the middle, it's a good hour and a half on a rib going fast. And if I am injured, then they cannot go fast because the, the, the rib will be bouncing up and down and it will make my injury worse. So it's, there's a lot of risk involved and a lot of risk for the team to come with me as well. They take on that responsibility, especially the doctors. Um, I really have a, a good relationship with the doctors and I always tell them that I will tell you everything that is happening to me as long as you do not get me out of the water for nothing. Because they need to know that this is... Was that ever a consideration they made? Tipo, Neil, I can't tell you from the water. No, no, so Atmos far they haven't. Ha? So far, no. Um, but it, it could happen. And I have to be ready to accept it, not kind of, because I can imagine myself, Tipo, you want me to get out, jump in for me. <laughs> 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 because it's a lot of it. it's a lot of sacrifice it's sacrificing your whole life for for the swim and this time after the first nine hours i got a pain in my foot and so i, I was trying not to kick and just use my arms and with the with the waves and with the current against me my arms were getting super tired so i kind of had to start kicking again and pretending that my foot is not hurting me then i called in the doctors and they gave me some painkillers and after that it still didn't go and still wasn't hurting me and I'm asking them for more painkillers and they told me listen it's still too early we just gave you painkillers now you know um, and at that point I broke down I, I started swimming breaststroke which is something that I never do and I kind of just let it all out and I cried for a good 15 minutes with my hands on my head couldn't really accept that I'm not going to make it like it's over. It's nine hours in. I haven't even started and it's over and just going through all the hard work and the sacrifices of, of everything like my social sacrifice, your social life, sacrifice everything and anything. And the sacrifice time with Lara sacrifice everything. <laughs> and, and so then all of a sudden it's already over and I'm like, cried it out thought about everything and and then the team came the doctors came back on board and one of them Angie is a good friend of mine we've known each other for a long time we went to the Olympics together in Athens and she was like listen you you're looking good you're swimming well like we're just going to give you something else now and the pain's going to go and you're going to make it and that was that shift that I needed from the team to get me out of that place and into the light Okay, so, so that was the, the, the game changing uh, moment. So, um, wow. Uh, so, compared to, to, to Sicily, perhaps it was uh, you were better prepared, even though it was a bigger challenge. Yeah, But it seems like, uh, you know, right, obviously, I'm not going to die, but I'm not going to die. You know, right, the footage is not going to be a good thing. It's not going to be a good thing. Jailer Miss Alia, ma kienx hemm moments bħal dawn li qed tispjega issa where you thought you're gonna give up and you're gonna throw no. in the towel. No, but as well a lot more doubts came in, especially in the preparation. I'm trying to do something that no one has ever done in the world ever. Mm, mm, Is mm. it possible? Is it not? Am I Niprovana Rakbir, Yaule? How big are those doubts? Like how much of your mind space does it take? Uh, a lot. A lot, and um, it pushes new boundaries. These things, these thoughts never came into my head. I knew I was going to swim from Sicily to Malta, and I knew I was going to do it, and I was 100% sure. This one was a little bit different. It was a lot of uncertainties of, am I trying to do the impossible? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Malta Gold, like I said, it's more possible, especially 
wenn ich die Tamil Hafna als Selfestim tal Pais und kolme die Tamil Affarit, especially wie kam kind of like uh, ah, Neil can do that, like what else is possible for pe- the people of, of this country. Do, how do you interact with being that sort of inspiration? I'm sure you must get a shit ton of messages. I mean, I got a shit ton of messages just because I'm sitting here with you. <laughs> you know? um, yes, I do. And it's something that um i didn't before sicily i didn't think doing it would have this effect on people mm-hmm. to inspire them to to make changes in their life to take on challenges they thought they couldn't do and even to to just work out more to be more active to spend more time in nature these are all messages i get a lot of people fact in fact yeah sorry sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna play a, a message i just remember i received a message i don't know if i played it i sent to tamari brigulio Mary Brigulio is uh, one of the ministers who came out of the podcast. And she's like, fuck. Like, she went completely, Jafiri, <laughs> number one fan. Oh, I, f- I find it later. I play, I play it. I find it in a break and I play it. Uh, mm-hmm. It's very much such, very much such hello, but you're inspiring so, yeah. so many people. And it's a, it's a big responsibility and something that is very, very beautiful as well to, to have this power to inspire people it's something that i never thought i would have and i i have this power right now so it's special ah uh, uh, yeah i have to kind of have shortcuts or have mediocre in fact you take the fucking hardest way possible is really really important especially must must be just like the moment ahiar fil pais um Tos li uh, tos re- responsible ta ek al figura li sirt? Um, not really because I'm just being myself and this is me and this is how I am and if it inspires people it feels it's a big responsibility yes but I'm not trying to be something I'm not I'm not trying to be that person to be able to inspire these people so for me I'm just being myself and this is there's this reaction from it and lowell bomb is as he go well oh bomb death suspicion um m i'll fait am la del haja there are there are two reasons and the first one is to challenge myself my mind and challenge a human human body and a human mind not necessarily myself how when doctors say it's impossible this is you cannot stay awake for two days you cannot swim for so long physiotherapists tell you your, your arms cannot take so many rotations it's i don't know how like uh, i don't know hundred thousand strokes plus so that is not normal for someone to be able to do it so i want to defy these people i want to see wh- how far can i push it for it to become too much uh, uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that doctor will never suggest that you go and remain awake for two days and swim in the sea and have all these external factors that can affect and your your the outcome of the swim as well. And so, so yeah. is it, it's your curiosity, especially. Yeah, l- how far can I push it? Like, can I swim more than fifty-two hours? Probably. Uh, so it's like uh, probably like the motivation is a bit similar to. Uh, People that want to discover shit out like outside of the world, but you want to discover shit about stuff yeah, inside. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Did they encounter curious? No, it was n- I, three years ago when I right before I swam around Malta. I didn't think I'd be here selling you. I swam for fifty-two hours, and I am the world record holder. It was something that I always said I wanted to do when I stopped swimming. It took me seven years to do it. I think you know the story that kind of Lara told me, listen, you need to either stop talking about it yeah. or just kind of do it. And I kind of got offended and I'm like, fuck you, man, I'm going to do it. Too. <laughs> um, and that's kind of after that swim, I had no uh, mindset preparation. So it was just physical and it was the hardest one. Out Mad- of all the three yeah. swims, the four swims that I did, it was the hardest one. Four? I should know well. I did Mad- Malta, Gozo. Uh, Sicily and Linoza. Yeah, uh, it, it, Lara sounds like uh, uh, an an uh, an inspiration, but also kind of like a bit of a despotic inspiration. Like yeah. she's the 
iron fist yeah. behind this uh, exactly. rainbow clad butterfly here. <laughs> <laughs> unicorn, I'm a unicorn, did you hear me? Um, I don't know, man. What, what, what's your what's your spirit <laughs> animal? I don't know. Uh, blue whale. Blue whale. Yeah. Why? Um, a shaman once told me that my spirit animal is a blue whale. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sh- uh, sh- because it basically says that I kind of can swim for very long and very slow and very calm, and so and you have a massive penis. As a that no one as a. <laughs> Uh, because that's the first thing you, isn't that what do you mean why when you think blue whale no, blue whale. no? Now, now you can think of me huh, instead of a penis <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah um, so um, what's really cool about you bro um, is it, when I got to know you um, of course there's that thing the more Saint Edwards but we'll forgive you for that <laughs> Um, but you're fucking super humble and so, and super cool. Um, are you this humble and cool when you're in the water? Mm, yeah, I guess so. You say you remain relaxed. Yeah, I, 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 in the beginning, in the first swim, like, like I said, for the Malta swim, I was quite um, aggressive to the team, and when things weren't going right, I was kind of being. Um, not the way I should be with them and then that affects them like I mentioned before and so now it's it's very much like when they think I'm really not in a good place I'll do something and make them laugh or joke a bit and try and get the intensity down of it all um, especially like the hallucinations were very very strong this time and right Lalla <laughs> basically <laughs> Och för fatt rätt lalla tal bahari Specifikt rätt lalla Så just Nabdua dig Il hallucinations dog Nej ni ju They started Quite early on in the second day um, But that, those kind of Very simple basic Hallucinations that I always usually get Because mm-hmm. looking down at that deep blue For so many hours During the day with the sun shining through As well, I just started to see some patterns, some blue mandalas and geometric patterns. And yeah, that's kind of, it entertains me. Ah, it, it does it come from fatigue or? Um, I think it's a lot of different things. I think it's being up for so long, so lack of sleep, the fatigue, always staring at that same blue image for so many times. If I, you look at a picture that's, all these blue colors and deep blues and if you look further there's other blues and other blues coming from there then you kind of start to see patterns so I think that's where that comes from but I evolved from the first time especially with the small of the blue but the blue mandalas and, and, and but then I started seeing these this kind of like a, a ball like a soft toy with polka dots on it and then it had a body of a fish and then it had wings of a bird like of a parrot so full of colors Jesus. And I was like, what is that fish? <laughs> and I was like, really, like, not one, just many of them everywhere. And I was like, really concentrating, trying to see see them. And this is in the, I was seeing them at the bottom of the sea. So I was seeing the bottom of the sea at 3000 meters deep. So I wasn't seeing the bottom of the sea. But I thought there was the sand underneath and these fish were kind of moving along over there and then kind of after really concentrating and really looking, I'm like, those aren't fish, those are people. And they... Aha! Aha! And so basically, they were just people that had kind of their helmet on as their aqualung, so they didn't have the, the tank at the back, but on their head. And they were like a whole community, like there was Atlantis underneath me. And so people walking, holding hands, people on some beds, people by a bar, um, people waving to me. People um, were covering themselves when I came next to them. So if they were lying down on a sunbed, they'll quickly cover themselves with sand. And through their eyes, I'll see their eyes just blinking and like they were hiding from me. Wow. Um, so, yeah, a lot of detail. And definitely now I really think that I passed the test of the spirit of the ocean. So being in the sea so many mu- so much, spending so much time, such a deep connection that I have with Nyamanja, which is the spirit of the ocean, that... It opened up and let me see what there really is. So, uh, at 
نمره تاع فرايت لي هي دونك فوق لي موخي سوا ما فايت هان بدا ما لولا تاع 3000 فاكين ميترز كيف كنت تاع لي 3000 ميترز ام ام فونت لا ما كانش ده سبت الميديتران على شي فاكين لي ناف 200 متر هكا اسمعيت الميديتران you know while you're swimming it will be cold but you come into a warm patch but another cold patch mm-hmm. when you go into a warm patch the data is taking account who how can yeah or did George just take a piss here <laughs> as that, like, as uh, that. Uh, 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 the hallucinations they, they sound so fucking elaborate yeah there's a lot of detail to it um, and I was seeing them for a long time it was kind of putting me through it and it also got me a bit disorientated as well I wasn't I couldn't wear a watch on my wrist so I had no Why? first time because it's in part of the rules where you cannot have a watch that has either a heart rate monitor or a GPS on it. Um, and so I couldn't find a watch that didn't have a heart rate and GPS, but remained lit in the backlight, remained lit all the time so I can see it at night. Mm. So I ended up swimming without a watch, which was the first time I ever swam without a watch ever in my life. And so I got very disorientated of the time. And then even when I was looking up on the second day as well, I was kind of looking behind me and I could see the clouds. Um, they were I, they were clouds, but at that time I was seeing them with the mist. It was very misty on the second morning and I was seeing the mountains with, with uh, that's it, mountains. And I'm like, told mountains my team. Mountains clouds like surrounding uh, the hell. Exactly, exactly. And I was like, um, you're not taking me to, to Malta, you're taking me to Sicily. You're you, all, you said you're, that? Yes, Excellent. you're all tricking me and you're all lying to me and it's not true because they, it was so clear that those were mountains that and I'm like there are no mountains in Gozo tipo. and to your mind what would justify your team deciding fuck it mush malta no, no. they would never Lagunza. they would never do that but, but why would you think because of the current being so bad because the gar- current was so bad and you were mm. so tired Lee, you were kind of you're losing your shit did you feel at the point uh, but then I was very lucid still. So the doctor came on board and she's like, listen, Neil, I'm going to ask you some questions just to make sure you're, you're, you're understanding where you are and what you're doing. And till she asked me that first question, date Nasep, all right, Mela, I'm ready for this. this was <laughs> and then she asked me, what year is it? I'm like, 2021. <laughs> so I was still uh, very lucid. And then kind of towards the end of the swim, I... I even kind of told Lara, like I stopped and I told her, listen, on the boat, my charger is not in the bedroom. It is on the in the kitchen table on the side because I was using it over there. Tell them to put it in my bag so I will need it the next day. <laughs> and and I carry on swimming and Lara told me that she thought I was losing my shit completely. It's like charger. She's so petty, I know. Um, and then after the swim, I told her, you got my charger. I told you to get it throughout the swim. And she's like, you're serious. That's what you were thinking. Like, <laughs> I was thinking you were losing your mind. Yeah. And another another situation was like, um, I was calling, like, I just right before I carried, finished my minute and a half swim, I put on my goggles. And you I told... Minute and a half rest. Yeah, minute and a half rest. I called her, see you later, Fifi. And... She's like, Fifi, he never calls me Fifi. Like, again, he's losing his mind completely. <laughs> and I was just joking around with her because now she is my fiance. So I was just. Yeah. <laughs> and she did, she, yeah, yeah, she thought, who the fuck's Fifi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes through your phone. Goes through your Facebook. <laughs> Francesca Falzon. <laughs> Friend request. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, Lara is, is lovely. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Lara, no. Uh, she's she's b- b- beautiful and everything, but she's also a bit scary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> il, uh, it, it, Yo, Lee likes my tida, and I it just, I met just my joke, joke. Uh, you, at the point you told to your team, we are going to war. Yeah. Tell us Ooh. about that. That's kind of how 
I felt we were going into the swim. It was going to be a, a battle, a battle with ourselves, with our minds, and also for the team. They did not train as much as I trained to do this swim. So sitting on a boat for 52 hours, okay, they were on a, on a roster and they all had shifts and everything, so they remain alert. But it's not a joke being on a boat moving so slowly for so long. Every wave, you feel it much more than if the boat is moving faster and you're breaking through the waves. So, yeah, I knew it was going to be the toughest challenge of my life and our lives probably, um, going through all that, all those emotions. So, yeah, that's how I kind of felt it. It's let's go to war. Let's let's do this. How does someone, in my, uh, from what I understand, manifestly peaceful as, as you? How do you embody war? How does that feel inside you? Um, it's a very peaceful war, but um, we need to be very strong, we need to be very firm, and we need to be focused for 52 hours. So, super hyper-focused for, for a very long time. It's super interesting for me to... For, for me to uh, 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 well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. I don't think I'm going to be I think Nila Juice is brave. I think Nila Juice is strong. I think Nila Juice is... All these things. If I let you know what Klana al guerra. Um interesting half now. So for sense, um uh, do you think there's uh pl- places in people's life where they can apply this philosophy of war? Uh yes, definitely. I think in, in everyday life as well. And even somebody going to pitch a an a big meeting that they have at work, they need to go to war and war is not aggressive at all but they need to have a game plan they need to have a strategy they need to see when they're going to attack and they need to see when they're going to retreat and and receive questions and then move forward again and attack again you know so it's it is for me that's my description of of war Mm-mm-mm. to be to be to be ready to bring your your best yeah. self forward to call yeah. on to tide of level one i don't know if it, I, I, I to tide yeah. of Bring it your is, best self yes, forward. Yes, it is. And that is, is how we get the best out of everyone. Everyone really, like last year, I thought uh, that was kind of the limit of everyone. And and like I found new levels, they found them with me. Yeah. So yeah. the... Uh, uh, and, and again, it goes back to the kind of inspiration you are. If you feel very good, you but in sipid, it's just more. Let's test it. Let's push it. I didn't know I like kind of I didn't know I had it in me. Like, the Lord was an instant um or on injury. I'm not fighting which Nila Jews um, much to her husband's chagrin on the on the mobile. Oh, the Lord was she needed this very arin. Tara which Nila Jews tight. Fuck, fuck, I can do this, you know. Yeah. But basically, the Neil went to she's about to shoot the arbal hands and mau. That message to Mary. My son might lose for the second time the podcast. So I'm at the zoom the way that I'm here. Issa, then you have a message. Regarding Nila Juice for the podcast, it's obvious. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a battery track to you, project to lock screen saver for the mobile, and I'm going to get a great call to you, Diljima. Until I'm going to get a He's superhuman. We all want to know about him. Look at the story. She lives in Gargur. You can just like have a jog around. <laughs> Around, around I'll, I'll wait for it for, with some water for her. Or just splash her in the <laughs> face as she goes around. Just <laughs> really kind of shock her yeah. and then you're like, war! And she <laughs> um, <laughs> Go to war! Go to war! So you mentioned this the, the this shaman element, right? Yeah. And the, uh, uh, shamans, uh, I know you do a lot of meditation. I do a, a, yeah. quite a bit of meditation, right? But as I'm you, Metaconto Serenit Aliya Conto Toflo Rape. Is that the right mm-hmm, word? Rapé, the lalat al bahar, na flip bish to prepare a hectic more flamazon. In dom taido, li limpen bish bish del haja siru a sebein filmia filmoch. Yeah. Um, what's the regimen like? And I'm sure half nine is especially stau yaplika or special din short at azer chiti al hayet om. Yeah, um, it it all starts um, with little little steps. So when I started meditating and sitting down and trying to meditate, I couldn't sit for two minutes. All I thought about is 
what I'm going to do next, what I need to do for the rest of my day, and kind of start doing it. As soon as it finishes, okay, ready, I'm more company. Mm. And I wasn't getting very much out of it, but I could feel just giving myself 15, 20, 30 minutes of the day to myself that I already felt something, even though I wasn't fully immersed in myself, but thinking what I was going to do next, I already felt a slight benefits from it. And as as I kind of got better at it and improving at it, um, I could sit still for longer. I could go into deeper meditation and separating my mind from my thoughts as well. So it's something that once you, I, I recommend it to everyone. Just sit down in the morning, give yourself 15 minutes before you start all the craziness, before your kids wake up before you get to work of you deserve 15 minutes with yourself on your own. So um, then you'll be ready for the rest of the day and anything that comes in your way, you're, you're ready for it. You know, any obstacles, any stress from work, any stress from the kid, children, your partner or anything, you can move in that space a lot better. Uh, and if someone wants to start meditation, how uh, most people know, I'm not sure they have special meditation if they have them. Because I'm not sure they have <laughs> um, Lara kind of taught me and she is now kind of going down this part of helping others so I would recommend they contact Lara Lara Vella yeah. I think we should just have had Lara here <laughs> <laughs> that, instead of me <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, man so alright man I'm, I'm not a mental meditation who is it for you meditation um, it depends now since the swim I haven't done that much but before I was doing half an hour twice three times a day this is part of my training it was not only swimming in the sea but doing that and also finding different ways of how to meditate in silence and with the prayers and with the songs and with with Lara as well over there and a couple of other friends who we kind of learn how to pr transfer energy to each other as well. So when they were on the boat, they were giving me a lot of energy just sitting there, being firm and singing these songs and these societies without me hearing Cites? them. Yeah, and societies are like the prayers. Okay. Um, Come in, where, where do they come from? From the indigenous people, the tribes. Of the Amazon? Yeah. Okay. And so I didn't hear what chants they would be singing, what sighties or what prayers, um, but I could feel them and I could feel the energy that they are giving me and I keep moving through that space, boom, boom, boom. And before I know it, 30 minutes have passed, 28 and a half minutes have passed and I'm stopping eating and let's go, next, keep moving. So, I'm going to play the speed. I'm going to play the speed. I'm going to play um, what on the training? Mm-hmm. Just time to start So till about 11, 12 o'clock in the day, it will be just training. Um, it will either be Pilates. Uh, it depends. Low the more short, miss six to seven minutes. I do, and I have some adults classes. I give swimming lessons too, and then I'll train from between eight and twelve. And this is during the week, and then on the weekends. Um, and 8 I, to 12, you train at the pool? Um, at the pool, yeah. At the pool, if I had had work, because um, of COVID, I wasn't having, there was a point that we were locked down, so I would just go and swim in the sea from 6 in the morning till till 10, and then I would go to Pilates, and then I go home, I stretch, I meditate. It's a whole, it's a whole day thing, everything. It's a 24-hour kind of preparation of each day, because as... I get more into it. I, I learn so much about my body, of how I have to sit down. My knees have to be kind of in line with my ankles um, when I'm in training. And my back needs to be a lot straighter than it is today because there's so much overuse of my body that I need to protect it as much as possible. So while I'm not training, I cannot be leaning on a, on a table how you are because that's putting more strain on my shoulders that already went through a lot today. So I need to rest and and protect them as much as possible when I'm not swimming. And how how important is the the, the posture and everything else? Yeah, it's a it's a very big part of it because the overuse of the muscles um st will start getting injured injuries and start getting pains in my shoulders and 
So I have to like put them in Jobotsa. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and but then do you like after the swim like fuck it? Yeah, like then I then a bit and... more. I don't need to be so serious all the time because then when I need you to be serious, and <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't need to be so serious all the time because, and then when I need to be serious when it is before and when I'm in training, then I would be kind of uh, it's too long of of too much seriousness. I like a little bit of lightness in my life. <laughs> you like a lot of lightness. <laughs> <in my life. laughs> I know you, bro. Don't <laughs> fuck with me. I know you. Um, uh, shoot night. Uh, yeah, Pilates, man. That's interesting. Like, uh, why Pilates? Why not yoga or? Um, basically, I started Pilates while I had stopped swimming. And this was before I was going to swim around Mall Town. And I go to, to Bryn Body Works in St. Julian's. And this guy on my first kind of two sessions there I'm like wow this guy knows his shit man he I went through many trainers and many physical trainers when I was preparing for the Olympics and training with the national team and this guy within two hours showed me a lot more than a lot of people did in 20 hours and I was like oh wow this is Im- impressive he knows what his stuff what kind of things um, simple things like he'd tell me like I used to tell him I'm a swimmer and he'd put me standing in front of him look to the left look to the right okay you definitely breathe to the right not the left and this shows how how deep his knowledge is about the body and so then when I told him I was swimming around Malta I told him this is the only physical exercise that I'm going to do on land and so he started giving me these really good exercises time working with time under tension as well so what I kind of will be needing while I'm swimming. And it was, it's a really just a smart way of working out. And it's like Pilates and swimming are me is like butter on toast. They go really well together. Mm. Uh, and and, and did, did he fix anything about you? Um, I have two slip discs, so. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Um, it ha- literally happened. I was just sitting down on a chair in in a bar and all of a sudden, it was, Pah! and I couldn't even walk to the car. From sitting? From sitting, yeah. But that means... 125 sit- kilometers of swimming, fuck nothing, sitting at the bar, two slip discs. As, uh, this was before I restarted training, but it, it came from my always training my whole life and then stopping for seven years and doing nothing. My back, my muscles on my back... W- you shouldn't tell me seven years ago, you should do something. Change, change, change. Olympics? No, um, when I was 25. When did you go to the Olympics? 17. Jesus, bro, <laughs> is there anything normal about me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I, I kind of didn't take everything that I could have from the Olympics. I was too young. I didn't really understand it. I understood where I was and what I was doing, but at Tiffany, like, I couldn't really take in the whole the whole thing. I was, it was too much for me. I was too young. But were you, like, excited to be there? Yes, no, no, definitely. I'm I'm seeing this now as my kind of overview about it. When I was in it, I was loving it, I thought. But this is normal, you can see the same thing in the Olympics. Yes, there are a lot of young children. I think now Sasha is got who is representing uh-huh. Malta is 16 or, so, or even younger maybe oh, wow. she's young she's I a superstar so huh? right <laughs> and everyone is, don't laugh at me you all feel like shit right now uh, yeah, this Sasha is really taking uh, swimming to the next level she, why? she What's finaled in the European she's swimming faster than I swam my 1500 when I was much older than her so she swam 1638 and for those who don't understand I swam 1650 so this is a, a girl who just passed bro- broke my my own personal best and is Maltese you know which is is really that a na- national record 16 yeah, yeah, yeah 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 national record national record for both males and females um, I'm not sure it might be quite close to a bit too close to the men's than it should uh, than it needs to be that's for sure yeah. so puts a little <laughs> pressure on the boys for sure Francesca's throwing a little party over there <laughs> and the better power <laughs> Yeah, but uh, uh, amazing. Oh, 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 Kif Marit, the European. She's the first first um, Maltese athlete final in the Europe Junior European. She came seventh. Mm. Does that make her seventh in Europe? You're talking about seeding. No, it's seventh in Europe. There's no A and B kind of. This is this is it. This is it with the Italians, with the Russians, with the Dutch, with wow. very strong swimming nations. Will she get better over time? She should, yeah. And, um, 
up to her and her coach of how much they want it and and making the right decisions. I think the next few years is um, super important that she takes the right decisions. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what do you think those right decisions are? Uh, it depends on them really what they kind of opportunities are coming to them right now of where they should train, if they should go and train with certain other swimmers as well of that level and it's it's tricky because you choose one team instead of another and that program might not work for you and then you don't improve for a year and it's, you're back to being normal and not that good. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming's tough. Scary uh, consideration to make. Um, so, yeah, slip discs, bar, um, let's see. Um, do you know the Sasha? Yeah. You know her? And what's she like? Um, she's good. She's got her feet on the ground. Um, she's a hard Except worker. Except when she's swimming. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bone is researching. Uh, no, it's not 400 meters. the one 1,500, right? Yeah. 1638. He said 1638. He doesn't listen, man. He doesn't listen. <laughs> right. you know. It's okay. It's a, yeah, it's normal to compare to the Yeah, we can compare her to Bone. Uh, <laughs> so you want to go back to the screen bone let's see where where we're uh it's just more yeah 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 because an, an interesting thing I, I don't have a screen in front of me ah uh <laughs> we discriminate like that for uh, <laughs> anti-guests um so apart from next but this might have title low well tom um you just kind of like take it half an hour at a time you never think of like which reminds me a bit of, I don't know, it's a documentary, The Edge of Democracy. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, no, for I Netflix, I there, there's this uh, the documentary of the, for the story of Talullah, who is the, the Brazilian president. And the, one, the, the the president that came after him used to be tortured in Soma by some crazy regime. And she used to say, the, the way to survive torture is the, you don't think of like this is going to last an hour tight I just need to survive the next 60 seconds no. and then I need to survive the next 60 seconds and, I, and, and that's how she apparently didn't lose her mind yeah and that's kind of the same the same kind of thing that I do but right right before I started the swim I was like I always will be really really focusing on I'm visualizing on what's going to happen and I kind of tell myself, okay, it's 6 p.m., the sun needs to go down, the sun needs to come up, the sun needs to go down, the sun needs to come up, and then you can start seeing, maybe you have like 12 hours left, 15 hours left. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you need you need to have that kind of in your head, not after the first sunrise, fadal, kem fadal, you know, that you can't be asking these questions straight from the start. I meant to go special sal feed, miss. You get fed Everything like fed, you're a yeah. fucking zebra on a zoo, but um, <laughs> they give me food on a stick and I have to take I've it. I've seen it, <laughs> <laughs> and they do do that. No, they like uh, do they can still um, have that long stick? Uh, so where can they uh, Doris Mark too is so can upgrade it. Had like a winch down and up, so it was a lot more flexible and ah, ah, upgrade. Can you got an upgrade on yeah, the upgrade. on the food major delivery. upgrade. Yeah. Ah, how nice, how nice. And and all I have more is the No. They said something new. It we learned to, we decided to add it after the Gozo swims, and I try and swim three times from Gozo in three days. Yeah, and I didn't manage to swim the last day because I was too cold and I was feeling like my stomach was a little bit empty, and so we said let's do pasta. And who came to pasta called Arba? Um, like ten penas. Ten penas called Nofsia. Tell us, tell depends, us about the feed. Though. Depends, because it's it's so. Every feed I have the electrolytes, which is water with salts in it. And this is a specific measure of 125 ml, according to the doctors calculated it from the other swims that I did with how much water and, and I was losing and how much I was sweating. And then I, every, then I have the, either the smoothie that John, John prepares for us. And this is like each smoothie will have 2000 calories in it. And I just have a small part of it, so that gives me a lot of energy. Uh-huh. And then the next swim, I, and then I have my my mouthwash. Okay. And then the next swim, I'll have the electrolytes again. And then this time, I will have pasta and the mouthwash. 
and then the next ma l smoothie ma tohtux kollu ġi fi 2000 calories no 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 kemm tieħu minnhom that's why i stop every half an hour to have a little bit so i don't get full because then i have a crash and i might get bloated so it's always having a little bit of everything and often okay u u kull nofsija u tiġri din il-ħaġa kull nofsija and what about things like uh, coffee coffee will be kind of whenever i request it okay uh, and do are you a big coffee drinker um, i try not to drink too much coffee while i'm swimming because i do get a little bit dehydrated when i drink coffee okay all right um so um when you so you of course you succeeded as six million or seven million whatever views um uh, obviously like the world knows um, um but when you came on when you arrived you looked fucking dizzy like you looked yeah. disoriented it's like my, like like you came out of a war zone yeah, exactly that's yeah now that i think <laughs> of it, that's that's what it looked like um what 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 was that feeling like there's also like a guy going shut up pal olo pal olo yeah what why why was that was that part of the arrangement or did they realize um, something might be so i'm just going to backtrack a little bit to one hour before that and i had schlendi right in my sights i could see the lights um and this is when it just got dark again so this was 9 p.m. 8 8:15 and the hallucinations were super intense so i the boat turned into a lutsu and there were people in front of the lutsu holding up white sheets so i couldn't see the lutsu <laughs> in front of me there were rubble walls so i could thought i couldn't get through and the sea was red and so i kind of stopped when this happened and as soon as i stopped the white sheets move away the rubble wall is still there and i'm like guys i can't swim there's a wall in front of me shanamel <laughs> and i'm there trying to lift my foot over this wall and and, <laughs> 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 and then one of the doctors Krista's like listen neil these are all in your head they are not really there you're almost there just kind of let's swim through it and okay we kind of tried that and i carried on swimming for another few minutes and i felt like i wasn't going anywhere so i swam through the rubble wall and then i the sheets came up again so i lost contact with the boat so i what did that feel like to swim through the rubble wall leaving or basically i swam through it and then when i stopped there was another rubble wall so it was oh. it was all repeated again so it wasn't like past that level and we're on to the next and so i really was feeling like i wasn't moving and then what i did was i turned around to see behind me to think of maybe there's a building behind me i don't know why because there was the open sea and i saw the clouds again and i thought it was a building again and I, there was a flag on the building and i'm like okay bomba so i'm seeing this building there's a flag on the building i'm going to swim for 10 minutes without stopping i'm going to turn around check check out this building and see how far away i am from this flag um i swam for 10 minutes and it was super intense each time stopping because i couldn't see the boat anymore there was just like this white sheet in front of me and then i'm like okay now i'm going to turn around and hopefully the flag is far away i turn around and the flag was in the exact same distance because later i realized that the flag was on the on the boat so it was moving with me so um it was really really intense and the waves were coming in from two different directions so the the swell was one way the wind was another way and so i was just feeling like i was just being squashed into into me and on the boat like they had told me like it was the first time i think everyone was just silence there were eight people on the boat at that point and no one was saying a word because anything was distracting me anything was making me lose mo- m- get dizzy basically and slowly slowly we kind of finally got closer once i was getting closer into shlendi then the the waves kind of died down because we were getting sheltered by by goat zone and as soon as i got into the bay then all the all the visions all the hallucinations disappeared oh. and i'm like ah oh, oh, i'm here <laughs> and then i kind of 
followed the boat right into the bay because I had to swim all the way to the beach. I could hear the people screaming super loud. And from all the way from the end of Schlendi all the way to the back, there must have been a lot of people. And then I got closer, got towards the last few strokes on the sand and stepping up onto the beach. The first time I was still very far down, I could just reach the the sand and I stood up and I already fell down and kind of no one really noticed at that point, but I kind of knew I ain't gonna stand up the next time I try. So I swam a few more strokes in and I stood up and I couldn't, my knees couldn't, haven't been holding my weight or any weight for so long that it kind of fell again. And then the team realized that the, to the shouting was distracting me. It was a lot of shouting. It was me coming from a quiet space for so many hours to all of a sudden a thousand Mayhem. people just screaming. In my, there were people mm. screaming when I swam from Sicily to Malta, but this was more from the heart. This was more, it was a bigger bigger thing from Cecil to Malta there was like Covid was still a new thing yeah now people fail to give a fuck like, yeah oh, fuck it is like, yeah. I'm gonna miss it twice uh, yeah it, and then basically once I managed to stand up and got onto the seat put my hands over my head if you watch the video for a few seconds yeah. then I kind of everything kind of okay alright okay okay bomba we're good Klatna. I could stand up and greet the people that were came all the way to Gozo to meet me. So you were in entirely disoriented until, uh, well, yeah. uh, probably even until you sat down. No? I mean, it, is it yeah, a bit like... Yeah, uh, until I sat down, until I sat down, definitely, until I put my hands over my head and I kind of regrouped myself and got myself back together and then I could, okay, I'll stand up. The doctors took the my oxygen to the blood, my blood pressure and some other things and everything was perfect. They took some blood samples, took them to the hospital and everything was perfect except for the muscle bruising that I had that was very high. Um, and that is the breakdown of the tissue of the muscles from being overused. So everything was fine. Shit going to very fibra tal muscle of them, did you fit them? Can like half now? What do they do in that case? Um, not much. I think it's just recovery. They gave me a few things to, to take some, I can't remember what they were, but some some things I took to help the recovery for my mouth, especially was really bad. My lips, my throat, my tongue. Um, uh, explain, especially if you not a good It's it's crazy how intense it is. Um, the the next few days to eat anything that I eat and I put in my mouth and ends up on the sides of my mouth, I cannot. My tongue is too swollen to actually move the food around and move it with my with my cheeks as well. So every time I put food in my mouth, I have to have a sip of water to clear it and to swallow it or it gets stuck. And I, my tongue was swollen, full of holes and blisters. And yeah, I still have one sore left over here. It's still very small, but under here was all cut. Over here, cut blisters on my mouth. It was like out of the movies, you know, like those um, mutated tongues. That's what it is. Do you was. have a picture of that? Uh, no, I didn't. I don't. It was yeah. so intense that I wasn't even thinking of taking pictures, to be honest. Understand. But when I move my tongue around my mouth, I could feel the spots and the, on my tongue. And what did you do? How did you do it? Did you do it? Did uh, I, it feels like double, but I don't think it will be that much. But even my throat was swollen. Even I did a video the next day to talk was was tough. And I couldn't couldn't travel all the way back to Malta for sure. I mean, in the car there was something on the seat, and it was I was still hallucinating then again. But do you know why you got so many more hallucinations? Miss Ali, I can like hallucinations, my other leash. No, no, but but Ali, I didn't see she now. Omt filodu wamilt minya washin siam ayam. This time I woke up on Monday at 8 a.m., slept for an hour in the afternoon, and started swimming at 6 p.m. So besides the 52 hours, I was awake for another 12. So it was seven fucking cycle. Why? Why? 68 hours. So I have less night, less time at night. So I do the first night fresh. You're about to take on the biggest challenge of your life. 
تاف كيف تو ماتش ادرينالين ايش ذا ذا من تشات مونا رايتر ات ستيت من سيات ذاتس يو نو ايفن اون ذا بيست اوف دايز ها افترنون ناب فور سي سي ا سات ايكت كون لاكي شانا 25 سكوندا كلش كم من فكركم لي دين البودا تاع جيت مي جوبا لكم من ديريك ميت ولا غاتريمنت دين الكومباني ياد غاودي في الاندستريا تاع لهم في شتوتنا تنسوا شيك تريجستراو في لي كابس سيركل بير ميستا لي كابس اب تستاو تبينيفيكاو من نومرو تاع فيرتي فوستون في جيب شيس كونتي فوق الفياتشي تاعكم اتشيترا هاي لكل الجارمن مالتا لي باليساندوم البيخ الفينيو تو لي وا سمارت واتش تاع البلي سبيشال ني غارانتي لكم من المومنت تتفاهم مال بولز يصير لا واحد بتاعكم لورا نيلا جوس يريد تنسيك باش نمر لورا لابيسوديو تاع متى وصلت شلاند متى كنت تطلع شلاند شي يجري في ذاك البوينت باش تا بيرسواس لي فيزيكامنت انت حتكون انكريديبلمان تاعيين بارون بات مخك يايت ينتبه لك واش وصل باش تا شي يجري في ذاك البوينت ليتشيتامنت يكون اكثر بصحتو من ليا Iva, ta' dem għan tkun iktar b-saħtu. Um, L-adrenalina t-tħollu koll, il-nis it-tuk l-enerġija metta jikunu għem il-ġiviri l-aja t-intila fisu. Un-bat t-ġi mis-saħħa u metta t-erġa t-mur ġopost iktar kwiet fejn men ta' nċem nis, ma ta' nċem enerġija u ek u t-nstabat un-bat. Imma kolħad b-da jisaħsi nis ma' għanti kemir għat jumej, t-naħxil sija, għasir għat t-erba sijat. بلوجيه تاع السيني بلوجيه تاع السامبرن اللي كلي ما ستايتش نور اوت عملت يومين ما نور اوتش فور سيار باسيات كل يوم كان بديت جسمي بدا يركوب راه بزايات باش ينا نستا نور اوت باش ترجع تكسب تشيكلو نورمالي تاع هايتك نفتح مارك من علي قال لي مارك مارك من قال قول قول هو لا مثلا لا ستيتمنت قال لي ناسب سيار وراه تمشي بالكلب ايه مالا ورا سالي مرت الدار اتسيا هاليت لارا ترقد هاليت ترقد مرت مشي مال كلبه مرت نشي افاري جيت الدار سيارت ام تتفايلا و اتلاس ما سدنت اربا صحابي انزات اربا انزات اربا شت ناش تستاش كنا اصلين تا رايت مجنوني او ام ام اه ولا امك من علي لا ركنا قال لي امك قال لك شي حلو سين ايش البوينت ذاك البوينت اللي في الكاميرا وكان مسكروك في الكاميرا عشان تبقى تتشلبر نو 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 كان من تاع البرو مالا اسمع اه انت لو نقرا اكثر فوق البارت سبيريتوالي تاع هايتك بحال ما بحال ما عملت تشان علي الاول او كانت كان فوق الرابيل او فيرتي والكانت والامازون والميديتاسيوني عشان ام بارت اللي هي نيورولوجيكا تاع تاع الميديتاسيوني انا براتيكا فتت ميديتاسيوني مش نستعملو كل يوم اما ونفهم شنو هو البنفيتشي تاع الميديتاسيوني ونتكلمو مش خازين فوق فوق البودكاست بس من بعد انت ام المنتو كول سبيريتوالي ما ما خالي سبيكانا هيك لافنت تاعك في من دايم كون بني ادم سبيريتوالي لا 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 كل نكلم ال 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 النيل ذاك زمين اتيار الله رات عمل دولة فريد قال لك برو هاد الفيرت عشان تحسب تيبو it wasn't something that I think thought would be beneficial for me but kind of she wants to do it she can do it تيبو تعملي اوكي I was hoping for a bit of more controversial like ah that's a psycho but لا 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 not that much everyone does their own thing or whatever makes you happy whatever floats your boat and Then kind of we started doing, uh, I started sitting next to her for a bit and kind of getting a little bit closer and then doing it slowly, slowly, kind of her kind of guiding me through it and showing me how it's done and everything. And each time we kind of, it became like our our thing, our time where we kind of have to ourselves that we now, it's a little bit difficult, but we always try and find once or twice a week where we can sit down and 
meditate and then kind of talk about how our day was and how our week is going and how we're feeling and just kind of open up to each other and it helps us as a couple and also helps us giving each other advice on how to deal with certain issues that come up. Yeah, but, but, but what I, I wanted to get at a bit, at a bit of a deeper level was this, the, because I, I hear names like J- Jamanja, is that correct? Yamanja, yes. Yeah. She's the spirit of the, the ocean. And so when we do go to do these swims, we, we give her offerings. So we give her hape and we give her, I give her some shells this time as well. And Lara would also give her some things um, just to show our appreciation of her. And so she will keep me safe while I'm swimming. And is she part of like a pantheon of gods? Um, she's from the S- South American tradition, as far as I know. Um, there are many spirits of there are spirits all around us. So, yeah, she's the spirit of the ocean, and I connect with her a lot w- during my meditations, and and then I feel that same connection while I am swimming. I feel safe. I don't feel anything is going to to happen to me, and. This time the connection grew so much because she showed me everything that I could see. She showed me Atlantis. So very grateful for that. Mm. Mm. I was going to get to that, but I thought it would be a weird question, but now fuck it. I like to ask you 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 to Atlantis. Dak il moment. Yo want to ask you to Not much dak il moment. Ma wara you to ask you Ekta sepp li kienu. Ejja. U kienu hemm, veru, veru kienu hemm, kien hemm, kien hemm kien tipo kontet nom, waqaft nom, għal xi nofs minuta ndaħħal rasi ġol ilma biex nkun ċert li qed nara li qed nara u hemm kienu. Ta' minn erġa' moru, bro. Sappa hekk, jada mark. Għandna tlieta. We're gonna go for a little night hike. Ehm. Eh, uh, a party, a party, yam, yamanja. Um, um, uh, one enti, I call it relation, yak, the relation, it month, ne maha, tools, tools, and I call it, and he call it, especially, uh, she, she, relation, it, but you pray, you pray to her, how does that? Um, no, there's, there are these moments, it, they're not that often, but there are moments where I can feel her. I feel her, and she, she also gives me uh, guidance on how to keep myself um, strong throughout the swim. So before the swim from Sicily to Malta, she told me to use the sun as a source of energy that it will bounce right to the bottom of the sea and back up into your heart and the sun will give you energy. And this time um, before the swim, she told me that use the moon so the moon was not going to the bot- will not go to the bottom but will go directly to you so when the moon is up i make sure that the boat does not cover the line from me to the moon so i have direct um sight of the moon uh-huh. and and you feel it you feel it giving you power all that light all that all that energy it goes right through you but but how does she communicate that to you um she will not be standing in front of me, but she, she, she sends the thoughts to my, to my mind. And is there like a, and the hand particularly? No, 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 she just sends me thoughts. She'd be standing there, I can, I can picture her, but she doesn't talk. Okay. Um, let's go to like, uh, moment of school. Um, Layl. Layl. Um, Layl. Um, بس عليا كل مومنت فين تلف بالليل دورت لورا نسيت إذا نسيت كنا ترجعون نفل دورت لورا وميت بشي كوارت لورا الليل لما جنا والإكتر بونت دفيج لي اللي هاش probably إكتر كاس خاك تار ماش more unknowingness everything happens at night so when we're about to go into the night we we know, like, yeah, game on. We need to be high in energy. We need to be ready for. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna drown. In, I'm gonna drown in, in a cup York of water. water. <coughs> I think I'm sorted. Yeah, I'm done. 
I'm good. Nah, I'm done. Oh, I'm right. done drowning. Okay. Um, you could have fucking saved me, bro. Yeah. I was trying to get the high neck from some me. More. Like let's, let's have another laugh. Yes, but you give me mouth to mouth. <laughs> I'm it's making uh, gay advice it depends, how, this de- guy de- depends how desperate depends how desperate you are in what regard oh bro so we go into the night um, at around <laughs> 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 I'll do well if I had to do. Yeah, I'm in most Sorry, I'm in bro. So at around 7 p.m., we switch all the electrolytes, smoothies. All the food is warm, so anything that I take, put into my body, is warm. So I start getting my temperature up. So while I'll be swimming at night and it starts to get cold, my body will be already at a very high temperature, so it comes kind of down to um, normal rather than me get, getting hypothermic. Mm-hmm. That is one thing we, we changed as well from the Sicily swim. And, uh, yeah, it's game on when we go into the night. Did it well. help him a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's, it's game on. It's dark. It's, you, it's dark for nine hours. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 hours, it's pitch black. And there are no, I don't like anyone having any lights on. So on the boat, there are glow sticks on the tube. And there's a glow stick on my swimsuit, on the back of my swimsuit. So I see them and they see me. When there are torches lit, mm-hmm. it feels like you're telling the fish, hey, I'm over here. Dano. Mm-hmm. You know those lights like in the cartoons? You're mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, Tiena. When you're, it's so dark, you feel like you're like a... Uh, camouflage elements. Exact, exactly. So that's one super important thing. Um, and the problem from that is being in the dark for so long, you, you, you're you not seeing. It's like you walk into your house, pitch black, even that's intimidating that you're and you put your hand in front of you and you're trying to make your way in your own house, let alone in the middle of the sea. Mm. So... Um, it does get intense. We try and keep everyone sitting on the boat, has to stay in the same place, because if they start moving around, I start to get disoriented of who is who. Um, because Wh- uh, Why is that important for you, who is who? It's, it's, it's weird if you kind of have people in front of you and you're thinking it's you, and then the person speaks and it's not you, it's Mark. It would be a great disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Break my heart. It, it basically starts to make you think, La, um, I can't even see the person that is two meters in front of me. Mm-hmm. So it does play, it starts to play uh, mind games. Um, uh, and, and this was the point, was it, because you were 10, 10 hours in, Mala, and you started at 8, 8 p.m.? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 10 hours in, you were crying. Yeah. And so it was probably less because it was still night time. So, yeah, six, six, uh, four a.m. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And what caused uh, the crying? Was it like the physical pain, or I, I think it was me kind of accepting that I'm it's over and I wasn't gonna be swimming anymore. Shit, man, that was a beautiful story, mate. And I'm like, fuck, man, it's it's oh, it's really, really over. Like all that work, all that sacrifice, all the time that the team did to prepare, all the time I took to prepare, and letting everyone down, letting Malta down, you know. And it was. It's good. Shouldn't be much pressure, man. Into Malta, call it the full WhatsApp. That's all anyone's fucking talking about. Yeah. Full Facebook. And in the beginning, everyone used to be like, as if this guy's going to make it. Like, I mean, the first, when I swam from Sicily to Malta, very few thought that I would make it. Uh-huh. And since then, more people have more belief in, okay. in what um, one, per- one human being can do. So now they think that Not I just can any do human it. Being, bro. Now they expect me to do it. Exactly. Exact. Exact. Um, so there is that pressure as well, yeah. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh,
you just born fate out almost jaw mate I'm as ali fuck it fuck it eh amelt wahda it's good half nektar min qualunque persona lena la atkhnalta am ya fkhay ta atkhay kon amel lura fi daisa fuck it i'm done no not in that context but there were points that i was saying like okay i'm just going to go on the boat there's the ladder right there andur hanitla fu saluno hanitla jiri kinem momenti li kontana melek u kem dom ta se bom dawl momenti kif atlek abel di fi the time concept of time is very difficult u u u swafet melit mes selno date night ya namel din nafsia but wara din itla but at we fuck it ya namlo wahra but namlo wahra but telat sham shu bidlet kollo shu malit itla sham sh dim don in celebra u kazi niftakar niftakar tas ali ya gjara special niftakar em dak is shot fit dokumentario al al be maras la wel dokumentario li amel na na onil long swim home and moment fate bdat ya sham sh o o la ra tis fan o mos gombati bda ya bdu bahar sabek it's fucking mind it's such a fucking party every time i watch that scene um eh chefet chefet an da ek fu ek e sham shu mentalmente moment euphoric it is a source of energy and also i listen to a song that is about the sun um which is vare and the song is completely about the sun and i listen to this song every time i'm driving to the beach to go and do a sea swim same song every time and and then they play this song for me as well when i'm on the swim so that brings me to even more energy and even more happiness and Yeah, it changes everything uh, the last swim and even the sicily swim at i'll be literally hanging on a thread like uh, low on energy the team is low on energy and then as soon as the sun comes up yeah. it's ding yeah 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 the hello this small podcast and mush and dr andrew and when i may be like but that na so i better tell him for the fatly and uh and to hit shams for the mortal bnedem for el u ashit afat wa afna el kirkadian rhythm obviamente peres li lantana teta na shams kono ati stenne wa shi jifiri li mus sej predator mesatra talle lui ko lo tefet em allora i so l'evoluzione spesta arrangiat na ptale mot kif nara wa shams wa ne do ruh ash momentnes Um, u tu issa sar il-ħin li aħna mmorru nikkaċċjaw um, u għal daqstant biex ta' jibda jħroċ iktar adrenalina u affarijiet hekk. Pero li lin mill um, mill-konsegwenzi fiżjoloġiċi hemm um, ukoll xi rabta bħal bħal hija manġa, hemm xi rabta ma ezoterika iktar spirituali. Ma tantx ta'. Ma xemx le. Le. Ma xemx li maġra hemm xi ħaġa ma mhux li naħdem biha jien. Mhux li taħdem biha jien. Isma hemm għal waħda fuq it-tim, għax it-tim insemmejna ħafna tim, insemmejna ħafna tim. Ħan nibdew ħan nibdew hekk. X'inhu huma x'inhu huma r-rekwiziti biex wieħed ikun jispiċċa fuq it-tim ta' nila ġus. Kif tagħżilhom int in-nies? mandom shay special it's very they are just committed to the cause and and committed to me to help me achieve this goal basically My commitment commitment yes i just very much common especially come to be the team 22 okay 22 people um there are three doctors there was lara Ranjit and John of Dr. Juice was um, my motivators. So they are there to keep me alert, keep me awake and make sure that I'm not staring off. Um, Benji as well was one of those. And then I had the feeders. I had Krista, Angie and Maya were the doctors, but Krista and Angie were also doubling their role and they were... F- the feeders so when i stopped they passed me the food 
and Mark Buttigieg as well was a feeder. And then we had people who were ferrying. Mark Buttigieg was our business partner. Yeah, yeah come exactly. on, let's go to Salam. Exactly. 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 Swimming workshop. Swimming workshop. So what will Facebook? Yeah, man. Yeah, um, but the thing you are telling the law will be cut out. Come train with the best. And post at the flat here. Um, fully booked. Um, uh, but um, get my quarter. Chips. Can't get chips. So yeah, this is the future. But you just get my key. Chips. Then I'm gonna say, Mama, chips. Mala. All right, bomba. Mala, she's in. It's a little shy, shy, bro. Flat here at the flat here, but in Sydney. No, I'm not historic. Well, I feel like she's. Le, le. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but basically there are people who ferry tenders is zar bishido in this rib alpha a sailing boat tenders is now a chat no jay bro um without personally cool satay you can be the driver you can be the motivator or you can be the feeder cool satay should have different but you might have Blenergia, my Kunusha Yenin, specialmente drivers Twain, Gordon, o, o Benji, Benji, is that Benji driver, kin. Benji, Gordon, o Twain, they have the hardest job. 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 They الدايسة هات يمشي هاف نكتر من من اللي هنمشي هنا جفير الدايسة إكبار لورا ريح تعب هذا ما كتر مالعين. أمم. So. بتقول كنترول السلوت تا تا خير تكون كابو أجي. إزات. بلو بريت على البحر. And then there are the photographers. There was Kurt Arrigo, Simon was team principal. There was David Anastasi, navigator. جفير كلو شولي بس هافنا. أو كلو يهو ديجيتيون اللي هنا نسلو عودش من فلوك مالتا. Um, u l-esper daw l-affarjiet min maħx kemmil somma beda jamel u l-affarjiet li fejn ma nifimx saħta ġifiri bixu jara xinu laħjar fejn fejn morru basically um, bix jini kolli liktar txans bix nasan maħx adnix fu l-podcast jo għabil waqt li kona jħna du kafe minti għax momejċ miħu 25 km u mejt isu miħu 45 miħu 45 um, Uffiċjali mija u ħamsa għaxrin għax għax tot min point to point il-linja dritta. Ezzat, il-linja dritta. U u għem iktar nis fit-team? Ija, għambat jem Gordon, Gordon u tipo team principal, jihu ħsip il-team kollu, l-organization biex nġibu permessi, u koll jem Alex jijajnu, u jem David Dutz, kem jem ninsi jom kolla, mux ninsi jom kolla, jem ħafna faċi biex ninsa xaħat, jem ma suppost semmejt kol ħat. Jekk leħ fakkarna u batin tella u erbaċu ħekka u għakum baċċen pilli bro U għapparti għapparti l-commitment Xiaqqa t-team T-team i u Kif nista nispieħ għan They are very Very important to me I can only swim as far as they are ready to take me Hmm Għiviri, ekku ma mux kapaċi jibqaw, I mean, għal daw kissijat kolla, jibqaw izzommuni bl-enerġija, jibqaw jituni li kell, u jibqaw jituni min kollox, kollox li għandi bżon, jivina, I don't think of anything, kull man di bżon namel nom, one, two, one, two, until għal ras jituni kollox. Jivir, my job is quite easy. Debatibli, bro. Debatibli, għal għal. It's quite easy compared to, I train for it, they don't. So, I'm very appreciative of them all, each one of them. I wouldn't manage to do it without them. And it's a very big commitment of lots of meetings, of planning, of training before, so they understand what they need to do. And we always give them the best advice possible is to try and stay out of the sun when they're not on the boats, keep hydrated, see sickness tablets, because... The boat's going slow and you're going up and down and so you can get seasick very easily. Um, yeah, but they are amazing and they keep hiring their level, so I'm going to keep hiring mine. And we keep challenging each other of to who's going to push each other further. They give you courage. Yeah. Amazing. Um, Mala, I'm going to talk to you about Mary D. Um, 
بمتى صارت طفلي هون قال بروبيان بطلت لي شي 20 ما صار شي متى فلير متى تستنى فلير بطا في الولو تاف للو لي ساي من سكس ترينينغ ما عندك شابتيت كيف تنيجوتيا ديك الحاجه هات السقسيك اوفيامنت البينفيت تاعها it's tough but you once you get there and once you put your running shoes on and once you put your swimsuit on then you feel great and the rest of your day is fully charged fully powered can accomplish anything so if you can just push yourself over that uncomfortable point then from there you're free falling downwards and you're have a a very strong day and your day will be a lot better and but but how, how do you push yourself of you and m m dak el dak lo sta you alarm ti ai gili do flops el lei o bish mo no eh o tish na mel na fasnu so ne qari ed da ro ra um bat in um bil mot un um i know i need to do it if i don't do it then my confidence goes down uh, uh. i can only be as confident as the amount of training that i put in uh. And ultimately, it's really incentive for Wally. It could look toughly. After ma had had hamel din din short ta 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 training. After had kon confident if lil ma. Yes, that and easier it's going to be on the day. Mm-hmm. The more I train, the easier it is. Mm. But for someone, well, the stand up like how they manage to prepare some pretty private life, five kilos. Yo, we stay. It could carry actor athlete. It could be. So you might lash it touch. It's it's kind of always kind of do what you are capable of doing at that present moment. So if it is you can work out for 10 minutes, don't try and do 30 because you overuse your body, you overuse your muscles and and then you are too tired to do something in two days time. The recovery is too long. So don't do too much too soon, too fast. Cool. All right. I said I didn't say I want to watch my Patreon stana. مارك مارك فينك مارك فينك اللي تستأسيك كم كان لك زمين متى فهمت اللي كان لك دين الكاباتشيتا اللي تعمل خويات سترا اوردناري 32 32 وش عندك؟ 35 35 جبيتها 32 انت انت عندك دان البوتنسيال برو قبل كنت عيد الله راشد اربع انا ما راشد اربع انا ما شي حاجه جو فيك كانت تعرف لي Esatto, quando nafli hanno mela, ma ma quando nafli il potenziale che lì. Mm. Ma ma quando fimpli che lì il potenziale al shahaja li mush normali. Esatto, ma li amilt malta quando nafli quando capaci na meliktar, ora mi sali a quando nafli quando capaci na meliktar, ora di capat nafli in capaci na meliktar. Ora di capaci ta meliktar. Ah no. Nila juice. Nila juice. Set it first. Set it on the podcast. 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 Especially now, is it climatic or anticlimactic? Um, climatic, I would say. Climactic, I should have said, but no, yeah, climatic yeah. will do. Um, uh, for me, it wasn't about breaking the world record. For me, it was about taking it one step further from from the last swim I did, which was Sicily Malta, and this was the next step, and now there's another step. So it's not. Now that I, what's the next step? I just did the full podcast of what I did like. Try and prove a little higher. It's my whole journey. I whiskey work for us in Tel Aviv. And it is shop. Single malt beer, huh? Shatoni. But not the break. Not the vodka. No. You froze. You froze vodka. Oh yes, we froze. All right, okay, yes, yes, yes. In and say it. I think we're going to need uh, Mark to come in here. It's my soft flat tan. So can you do Mark with vodka? A low man on a Patreon, man. That's what that's what Adrian. I do low in Nitrox. 
incidentalment Adrian u għalik tarp nidem li li naf min dawn, min dawn in-nis kolla kem li naf id-drin 16 17 min dakil ħabta li kont dardira basikament u u u għanna ktib, fejnu l-ktib ta ta drinu ma ktib ta drinu li ħajad di li drinu li u għanda biex jissant iħi l-drinu xie strada l-fanfer ma tanċin għalaw li dan uwa Everest ta Marko Kremona ta fu l-Marko inti? ma nasebx Marko Kremona aparti uwa engineer sama da liq bro dominant l-Merlin Merlin Publishers etrit taraħ da kuwa ktib Marko Kremona uwa Tela Everest nimmaġna. Eħza, tela fuq, tela fuq il-montanja ta' Everest, drino da kalik, enjoy. Tajjab taqra, forsi titħajja, ru. Jini titħajja, tħana meċa ġek. Titħajja, tħana meċa ġek. Tħana meċa ġek, mbonu flimkien. Ekin għala ċaġa muċ inġor roħt l-aħarmen. Fuq il-kamera, ek titħajjili. Għara l-vodka najlik. Imma Marko Kremona, parti li tela Everest u kol, u għa inġinier ta' l-ilma. Xinu għazza, xie għamil, inġinier ta' l-ilma. U għabni dem ferm interessanti, għammil ħabta u kol fil-politika, għammil ħabta kien... Le, le, kien għanna ma' l-PD, ta' kien xie segretario ta' l-PD, jawek. Ta' l-Parti Demokratiko, għabil ma' sar APDP LMNA. Mala, jie, da mix nitċelebra u l- Tid għal mek trik, bix forsi... Da zgull li rt nitaħ l-emi, ma' għat nijil la' ġus. Mala, għal 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 Għatlik, mis naġibna l-la. Teknikament, hydrologist. Hydrologist. Tritti għunie f-silġawa kem tifla, u għabel tuħan fuħi l-barra, titti x-rob. Siemi li tal-loba li għagdi. Complete opposite. Ma siemi, zimbol fidni. Dir, try mind. Exhale as much as possible. It's my wife, actually. Exhale all the way, completely empty. Kem jafu, n-nisa u. N-nisa jafu, da la f-fari. Down it, and inhale through your nose. Okay, I trust you. Every day. Mush for the maid, not lamush. Exhale, exhale, and then inhale from your nose. Zuatli. Cheers. Exhale. So. It's good too. Ħoġ dejz da għu ġifiri? Nħtgħuġ da kellu baħru. Kellu baħr. Dħal. Njoħroġ kull xot. The shot bar. Mela. Dħi kienek tal-break ġifiri? Dħi kienek tal-pawza. Għandi bżon pawza għetwal? Le għarraj ta' niflaħ. Mux għessaċu. Kem għan għamlu? Tanju għamsin sija? Għet nsaq sija għan għandi bżon pawza. Stjef, njus għar minnistet. Mela. Ehm. Issa għana għadduwa l-parti li għana għadduwa fil-Ozor, ma bħmijak ma għal fejtkun fil-Ozor, iċ bħal maħt naħadduwa għintu għadduwa fil-Tul taħamil. Em ħafna ċajt sasuali, marbuta għam għadda kellu komment li mussa naħamil għam għax ma jixraqx. Em din l-parti għam iġjuba meħbib taħna taħal free hour, nsalli għal zek għal metu daħu kien nis mela fil-juzu kolla li naħdem maħħu. Mela. Le, bro, mussa nsaq zihdi klaw il-wahda u eja, bro. Ma, all right, nħansaq sijet. Ma, ehm... Aċġel indur. Ħanġelek tida jie propju. Ma, illum kolna meeting vera serju, se għaj jien għal-bohon u għarba minna soħħan, so ma. U għatu għan intervista l-ni la ġuz, so. U ma naf... Fri kontu għat t-tkelmu fuj. Dejjem, bro, mux kol ħat fuj għat t-kelmu fuj. Tħan għat t-kelmu fuj. 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 Uħti għalet li nila ġuz metaj kun fil-bahar ma jamilx koko. Sa għasa bix norik kem importanti l-mistoqsi għali jimis. Nanu għarri t-rat tuħti. Mbat kolla d-deċi dejn għan ħed faw 5 euros fil-ġokiti. U jien għan irbaħom? Muċa s-saċ, ne. Da ku għarri t-rat, ma naħx jistaw x-taraħ minn emmek. Da ku ma l-Karlos u Abigail t-stat, can you? Tara xa ħħħħ ġemmek, għarħħħħ, għarħħħ, 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 għarħħ Xaħna għedin 3 u 3, xaħna gender equal creative team. 
l-irġiel kolla qalu li ovvja li nila ġus bil-fors li tijamel xaħġa sbire Specifikajna kif Ma kif kif le ma tħanlix fi għalzat ċo ma mill-nix parti mill-mix rekwizit li najdu kif Jekk ta' mix number two fil-baħar jule Mela Itwaġiba ija Nistantik naqad detta' għalek trit u kol Nistik kem jista jkun detta' Namel number two fil-baħar zgur Tinsiex li jena għandi minuta u nofs Iġifiri kem min nizza l-malja Kunet nitkellem ma' t-tim U f-tistetħin nat namelu U jirbħu Jirbħu għal-account ta' TikTok ta'na blow Amazing Jirbħu l-rġil Għaxo fiħa men ta' Uħti bħtu prova ta' għal equation Li ta' jitspiċ ta' xie nanka Ma ta' nkunna għal-ranku ta' ta' għas jġini I should be saying that about my sister. Uh, imma, le, insomma, l-importanti u li, li, li kelli, kelli raġu. Bix, bix namel number one, u naqraj bsa per għax dik l-adrenalina kolla li kuna dej ġo ġismek, għandek dik minu ta' unofs, ta' malajt, 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 ta' Zom sekund, naħseb mux etna blu fuq xinu number one o number two, naħseb għanna problema ta' coding għawwek, eh? Mela, number one, number two min wara. Eh, number one, niktar difiċ li? Eja. Ah, ixtra, kam sibta, rejta? Ma xorta naħseb ta' mel number one, kol sija kwazi, kol sija u nofs. Ma ġis naħriktar prekattiva spiċta. Sewa. Ehm, Ni la ġuz, xini l-inqas ħaġa li jinti kapaċi tamel, pero li tixtiq kont kapaċi tamel? Ma naħx niġri zgur, minix kapaċi niġri. Ma naħx ekiri tinkun naħf niġri saħu, ma kontent bil-ftit li naħf. Biex inkanta. Ċtaħt kont kapaċi t-kanta? Ftiħt ta' mux ħafna, ma naħra kapaċi, minix kapaċi. Xej? Xej, xej, xej. Xej, dizastru? Dizastru. U kiku, kiku, kerek kun kantant, talim xor ta' muzga kont kun kantant? Ma għandix idea. Naħse pa għandek, jenx metat kun fil-xawer u tibda tala għajnik. U tala għajnik 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 kont Ricky Martin, per esempio. Enrique Inglesias, no? Enrique Inglesias, għandi kħi xeħta, ta? Għandi kħi xeħta. Meta kien Malta kontu d-dim jiena? Kien ġi Malta, Enrique Inglesias? Darbtej. Darbtej, mela kontu d-dim jiena. Mela għamilt naħxil sija n-istenni. Le, għapparte, xi għox bok? Xorta ta' muzgat għox bok? Kip dejna najdu da' u South American Traditions, dik l-muzika li jiet nisma. Ma mil-punent, hem, xa ħaġek, na aktar occidentali, na aktar familiari. Pete Rock, Jay Dillon. Amazing, amazing, bro. Instrumental hip-hop. Only two of these uncultured fucking lampoon morons <laughs> awake uh, the fucking marshmallows for fucking brains that's supposed to be a cultural it's a little bit of techno sometimes why not ah oh, fuck bro <laughs> 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 no it's not that you're techno that's a beautiful xandek im den del man ok dik ma kenix fil lista zgur ma bon zieda my engagement necklace iġri għaw ġizera għankom għal engagement ma kom xturket you know Lara proposed before this film yeah yes 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 alright min xiex na ma mula dik a buffalo a buffalo like a buffalo xiex arn ta buffalo yo yeah Aren't a buffalo? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Edit it. <laughs> uh, we need it, Lara. Um, how was that, man? Feel fat. Tell the whole proposal. To show how we can show the memes and all the things that we have to do. Lara, to propose the combat, you see you swimming away. Did you see these memes? No, I didn't see them. I saw the ones of the Gozo Ferry. The Gozo Ferry, man, it is. Much Gozo, it's Aliyah. It's like... انت تخلص 999 نيل يطلب شيء. اه 
وهفنا عندي هفنا ميمز مع ميشيل وكول اي كان ايماجين ا جوزيف از كوايت جيلس ان جيفيري ا سيد جيلس تايب يو ثينك يو ميت جوزيف نو بت ام ديد يو تيك اني ديد يو كول اب ميشيل بيفور ذا سويم وي واز لايك ليسن وات شود اي بي لوكينغ اوف فور يس يس And uh, did she give you? Oh, he's going to continue with the alcohol. Um, a party, a party, Michelle. Um, il, il, oh, the the mother proposed it like. Mhm. And it take can I start to take push it up? And it's not like that. It's like that. It's not like that. Uh-uh. And the temperament, obviously, Mr. Tidley Motor. But the temperament. Convent. Se sta io e sa a un malta con la tara, ovviamente da retratlietti ti hai quale sai la o chamse nel fruh, se sta nei della un bat na seban. Ha sei le forze te fate tacht na era pressure, mod strategico forse anche. Le le in afrim che na charles ni ne giuvel il risposta che ne tofia. Quanto praticamente mezzo oggi non hai il ritual c'è. من على بافالورين سبيه بافالورين ما مستوصي يا رحمة أنت لستس بيتري only و مارك مارك فينك هو لستس بيتري يستكون زه فوق خود كبير جيل رايت خود كبير لا ده دار بس خود طبعا دار رايت لا رايت أتلانتس رايت داوكل خود إذا داوك ما داو كنو سفتشايت كنو كنو نيس مش خوت جيفيري جيفيري هو ات ما رايت خوت لا انتريسانتي اه يا ما ما كان مكتوب سوى وات ذا فاك از ان سبتمبر بس اي افترايد اي كان تيل يو واتس ان سبتمبر اوكي اورايت اي ام هوبفلي جوين تو جو تو جريس اند سويم ان ذا ذا جريك ذيرز ا كانال وير ذيرز تو روكس ذات ار سبليت اتس 6 كيلومتر لونج اند اي ونت تو جو سويم ان ذا اه اوكي شو جيري مش شنو شنو لابيل تاع خال الهاجة؟ اتس كول واتس كول اباوت ات ذا روكس ذا ستراكشر اوف ات بلس اي نيد ا هوليداي جريس بيت اوف ايفريثينغ خلاص يا نجم يا سو اف اني وان نوز اني واي اي كان جيت بيرميشن تو دو ذيس سويم ليت مي نو وير وير ذا روكس؟ وير وير؟ جريس اتس ا بيت بليس اي دونت نو In Greece, <laughs> there's only one Greek, the Greek canal. There's only one. There's only one Greek canal. There's only one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You'll, 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 you'll probably find like uh, the rock and a toga doing something homosexual. No, just do Greek canal and it, you'll find it. Six kilometers, you said. Mm-hmm. Six kilometers in a canal. To go on images and you'll see it and you'll you'll understand me. Oh wow, yeah. beautiful. Ah, Feda. Feda, bon. No Greece, bro. <laughs> ancient current, ancient current. Is it a canal? Yeah. Much bon by you. Yeah, fantastic. Cheers. Cheers, man, to your beautiful soul. Your beautiful podcast. He's flirting back, guys. <laughs> um, so, now the 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 door. I'm not going to have this subject, but I'm going to have a good. I don't know if the senior Lara Vella. Let's say the Lara Juice. I'm going to have the Lara Vella Juice. Vella Juice. Vella Juice. In summer. It's a car deal, I don't know. Car deal. I don't know. I don't know. Face your tafa, kif a beta. Not your dancing skills, oh man, Aliya. Not my singing skills. Not your singing skills, of course, you're over here. Um, my dancing skills have gotten better over the years. Um, basically, I met her, I knew her through a friend, and I, we crossed paths in Pacheville once, and she was really drunk, and her friend was going to be picked up by her dad, and she didn't want to go in the car with her, so she kind of jumped on me to take her home. And I think kind of that's kind of where we met. She was really drunk and I just took care of her and took her home. And then she was embarrassed that uh, she was so drunk. And so she called me to meet me to apologize. And 
the rest is uh, the rest is ten years of uh, yeah, ten years. and Lara Vella. Exactly. Nice, 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 nice. Mala, didn't you? I'm not here. 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 I'm not Shtiex tiqtara iktar minnu f'dal pajjiż? Um, iktar imħabba lej l-ambjent, iktar imħabba lej l-pajjiż minna min kulħadd. We, we all don't respect our country enough, I feel. We um, take it for granted, we don't respect it as much, so we need to be more appreciative of what we have and take care of what we have before we won't have it anymore. And how do we do that? Uh, by making little changes in our lives of um, what are we buying, how are we using things, do you go walk around your house and find a couple of things that you buy that there are sustainable products to replace them. I think that's super important. All these little differences can make a big change. And how do you we go to the beach and we enjoy it or we go on a, on a camping and we leave all our trash there super disrespectful to every other citizen in Malta and also to the to the to Malta itself uh, I mean uh, you can walk on a beach and you want to pick up plastic or whatever people leave behind you don't even need to walk 10 meters and you have two hands full of stuff. You go on Monday morning to the beach after the weekend and you'll be impressed with what, what you find on the beach. Go to Ramla, go to Meliha. It's impressive. But the amount of cigarette butts, the amount of plastic cups, s- straws and spoons and anything that comes out of their handbag, packets, ice cream sticks, everything. It's just left over there like they don't care and they don't really appreciate the beach and uh, they don't understand what it means to have that luxury of being so close to the sea. I'm sorry that you can see the work done in the country is more special than the country. And you know, why is it a particular country in the country? I think we're very lucky in Malta. I mean, I spend a fair amount of time with foreigners and they made me appreciate Malta a lot more. And they are, in the beginning, I was like, oh, Malta, you know, not that great. But they're like, man, you guys are lucky. Like, you have so much in such a small space. And then it started to open my eyes and I started to look around and and take notice of all these little things. And it's they're right. We do have a special country. Um, okay, yes, we have our problems, but so does everyone else have their problems. It's are we going to try and make changes to better ourselves or are we just going to keep stepping in our own shit, basically? Yeah, yeah. And what do they tell you is special about Malta? I think the the weather, the the people, the, the, the fact that wherever you live, you are 10 minutes from the sea, 15 minutes maximum from the sea. Um, and... Yeah, we have sun a lot of the, so many 300 days of the year is probably sunny. And like you mentioned before, the sun brings that certain energy and that certain uplifting feel to a person. So everybody feels it, not just me, not just you. Everybody feels it when the sun is out. Mm-hmm. And uh, in Germany, in England, it's raining for 300 days. It's cloudy for 300 days. So we don't get to, they don't get to feel that lightness and that energy that the sun gives us for a long time. So we're super lucky. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think there's a lot of natural beauty. It is really cool that, but you know, late, 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 as Lima called that, but in the hour, I couldn't sell me ballo town on Aral Bahar night in Madonna. And yeah, will flat dirt with Nara and Mediterranean. The shot is that connector for tonight, man, geographically, especially for tonight. Yeah, sure, I'm not saying that I'm not going to let short and I'm going to go on the zone. I don't know if it's in the heart, especially in the heart, but it's not natural, especially in the heart, but it's not natural. And this has to come from the top up. They are our leaders, and so they need to be guiding us in the way to do it, you know? 
How, how, how could the leaders do a better job? One simple thing is by them not wearing single-use masks. Something so simple, but yet they are changing their mask every day. And that's the billions of masks have been disposed of in the last year because of COVID. They should be setting an example that we shouldn't be using them. That was something su- super simple like that. Cool. Neil, you know, I think I, um, I'm satisfied with this conversation. How did you get league? It was all right. Uh, maybe top three podcasts. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Tell the statistics. Come on. It was, it was uh, fun. I was really looking forward to it. And as Thank usual, you. we always have a awesome conversation. A good Even time to get. Five people watching us or, or nobody. It's always awesome. It's always awesome. It is always awesome. Did you do it? 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 Did you you That was very uh, m- monastic. Nila <laughs> um, Juice. I, I feel people like say, oh, legend. It's fucking bullshit. No one can say legend anymore. <laughs> oh, ledge. Bro, you're not a fucking ledge. You just went and bought a packet of cigarettes and you gave me one. That's not legendary. <laughs> That's like common decency. You, my friend, are a motherfucking legend. Nila Juice. So proud to fucking know you. Joe Maria Podcast, Neela Juice, thank you. Good night.